Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to download and use a digital planner. First of all, we can start the download process, which is super easy. You just go to the website where you got the planner, you click on the link, so you go to the actual planner, then you click this icon here, and then you can either save it to files or you can open in GoodNotes. So let's say we will just open in GoodNotes, and I already have this open, but I'll just import it to current document. And here it is, here's your planner. The biggest thing you will want to know is how to use all these links and tabs. You just click this icon here and then once everything disappears, you can just use your links and go wherever you want. A lot of the planners, you can actually click on the middle of the page and then you can go back to the main screen. They also usually have an index page or a home page with the tabs that you can title the way you want to. And in this planner, you can also go be back and forth between the pages. Another thing you'll probably want to know is obviously what all these things are doing. And this one actually can help you um, make things look closer. It's kind of like a magnifying glass. But I personally like to, I don't really like it, I, I just don't use it. And what I do is you just use your two fingers and you can zoom like you would do on your phone or any other device. And then you can use a pen, change the color to your preference, and you can just write whatever you want. And if you think that this is a little too thick, you can choose a lighter one and you can even make it smaller. So there's these three main options, but you can completely make it your own personal preference and just do it how you want to do it. So for example, I will write stickers here um, or here I would write notes. Then this one, these are nice because they're related. So I'll just write project number one project number two and what I mean by that is that if you go to one you can easily access the other and you don't have to write this but I think it helps to remember where everything is there's two more these ones are more secretive so more for diary or passwords and then here actually there's another link but it's not as visible so as you can see this is just that spot if I click anywhere else it doesn't work but if I click right there here it is here's my page my secret page now if you want to add extra pages you can just go here and go to thumbnails and then you can see all the pages that are in the splinter and if you want to add some you can just go where you want want it to be and you will just click this add page before or after or you can duplicate it so you add it you choose the template you can use a different uh, paper if you want or you can just use the template that's there so all these pages that you can see you can easily create more of them so you can add that and also if I go here you see that this cup is different so I can just add an image by clicking here going insert from and then I can add whichever image I want let's say I want to add this one thing so if I choose this pen and then I choose this color, which is like one of the main colors here. Um, and then I color this or this, whichever tab I want. I can change the title of the tab. I can write one, two, three, or uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever you want and just change it. These tabs will still be working. But one thing to know is that obviously I've created this thinking that these would be the months, so then you would have to change all of these as well. But again, if you really want to and you're committed, you can do that. Other things that you could do in your planner, I drew just right now and I can show you how I did it. So I just choose a color, let's say I want black, and then I can choose the size of the pen. And then I'll make a circle and then I'll draw these lines and then add this. And here we are, we have a cup. And then I can go make it smaller and add a little bit of a shade to the cup. 
Now for the colors, I can what I can do, I can go to the highlighter, then choose the color that I want, go to custom, go to the circle, and then go wherever I feel like. And obviously we can change the color itself. Let's say let's do this color and I can make it brighter or more muted and I can add it to my presets and here it is. So now with the highlighter, I can color it in. So I can just color it and I can color this. And if I do it multiple times, like if I release the pen and touch it again, then as you can see, it becomes darker. So I can do that if I want. So here we are. And if I want to move it again, I can use the lasso tool and then click here, click on it resize and then I can do whatever I want with it and because I drew it second it's going to be on the top of the other cup I can also what I can do is I can take a screenshot and just save it to my photos so I would just uh, maybe save it to files now it depends on where you keep everything I will just save them to downloads for now save it uh, I'll just replace that doesn't matter and then I can add it again by clicking this clicking here and going to the actual place which is my downloads so I go to my downloads and then here here it is here's my cup but obviously it's a screenshot so it's not going to be transparent so that's kind of the downside of it I what I can also do is I can copy this and add element and then I can put it here and then it will appear in this little box. Um, so now I can add it and now as you can see it is transparent. So if you want to keep this element you can, you just need to add it, add it the way I just showed you. And okay so let's just go back from everything and let me show you other things. So. You can also add pre-made stickers. In order to do that, you have to download them first. So in this case, this planner has uh, stickers already that you can download. You just click on it, you click download, it loads fairly quickly. And then you click on it and you have to go to the actual file, click on the zip file so that it's unzipped. So you can have all these individual files. And once it's done, you can go back to your good notes and we can add everything from here so i'll just add image choose a space that doesn't have anything click on it insert from and then i can just choose uh whichever i want so here it is this is how it's structured and i go to the stickers and i can go to hand drawn stickers so these are the stickers i drew in procreate and if you want to try drawing I definitely recommend it and so let's say I want to add this so I want to add this girl and let's say I want to add it instead of this one so I'll just choose this one well I drew this so obviously it's also something I need to delete now delete choose the girl delete still not the girl very comfortable just kidding yeah, this is not the most comfortable thing in the world, but you can still do it. Okay, what you can do with an actual image, you just choose image, click on it, and then you can easily delete it. So this is more comfortable for me. Okay, so lasso tool is better for elements, like small elements, but the images, I feel like it's better with the image because we that's how we uploaded it. And then, you know, GoodNotes knows what kind of file I want to pick up. So here we have it and now we can color it. So I can choose the same color as I had here. I can just color whatever and if I don't release then I will not have any other lines. If I release it obviously it's you know going to layer and create this so it's up to you. I kind of like both. I like both effects and then you can also color her hair because somehow I decided I wanted green and here we go our little alien girl and she's ready now what else we can do with the stickers i will just 
uh, delete this actually, I don't need it. So we just select it, delete it, and there's that. Let's go back, let's insert, and let's go for some sticky notes because then we have a little bit of texture. I'll just choose this brown paper and then I can adjust it the way I want, I want it to be, if I want it on the full page or not. And here we have it, we have the paper there. And now on top of it, we can add whatever we want. So if I want, for example, to write something with white, um, I can easily do that, no problem. So I can, this can be used for multiple things. Like I can create some art here, but you have to click somewhere else, not there, because it's gonna get selected. So let's say I want some hand-drawn stickers and I want to add this girl this time. templates that have daily weekly and so on so i just go back and i can just go to whichever i want let's say i want to go to daily i just choose a friday and here it is i can easily add a, the template and just have it here and if i want to have only let's say this part i can also cut it so what i would do i would select it crop and then i just go here and here and it's cropped so i only have the timeline if i want and i can also delete this if i don't like it so here we go and then i can add it go to the image and add it to the corner and here we are and then i can also delete this because i don't like it right now so here we are we can add our schedule right now and let's say I want a monthly here. So I'll go back to the menu, choose an image, click on an empty space, insert from, and then go to monthly. And then I let's say I want the Sunday start, or no, sorry, I said I want a month. So I will go to yearly, Sunday start, and then I can choose a separate month. And then depends on how many days there is. So this month there's 31. It started, I don't remember, but I could check. So all of these are pre-made, so you don't need to make them your own. And you can just add them here. And then you can just circle the day that it is. And you can add a little bit more fun to it like that. So here it is, and here's your day. And you can just go from there. So that's it for this planner. I hope that I answered all of your questions. And if you do have more questions, please let me know so I can answer them in the comments. See you in the next video.